What's the crack, lads? We are back with our What's Coming Monday. What boosters are coming Monday? Well, I'm going to show you. We're just fresh off Lamb, Schmeichel, and Cannavaro. In fairness, a very decent pack. And we can always tell what legends we're going to be getting because of these player selections here. Also, if you missed my video on all upcoming new double boosters, please do check that out. There's a lot of information in it. And I'll leave a link and a video link there as well on the page. We do know from this selection, lads, what legends we're going to be getting or what epics we're going to be getting. Now, Bojan Korkic is there. Morientes is there and Samuel Eto'o. All eyes will probably be drawn to the new booster or the new legend Korkic or the new epic. Some people will say he's not a legend. Obviously, it depends uh, on how you look at him. But it's going to be all about Eto'o, lads, right? And this is just a quick little kind of look at him. Now, he only has 26 levels here. Usually, these double boosters have had about 20, you know, 8, 29, 30 levels. But we have seen a couple that have had 27, 28 as well. And the big thing with Eto is going to be how you train him, I think, with his balance and his tight possession. Even when we've popped a lot in, now we've only popped four into dribbling, but we pop another five or six into dribbling there, you're not going to get that run and gun 90s. But he does have phenomenal finishing. Now, Bojan Korkic is not going to have 59 levels, but even if we put him at about 35, he's going to look pretty decent. I mean, look at these stats that you're going to have here. This guy could be kind of like... I won't say a hidden gem because obviously there'll be a lot of eyes on him. Obviously, he has a brand new player that's going to be joining as an actual epic or a legend as Konami classes him. Uh, but he's going to be, he's going to look insane, man. I mean, even if we just give him a very rough 35 levels here and give him a very kind of basic guide of how to train him up, he looks very, very decent. And of course, he doesn't have any of the player skills such as phenomenal finishing or anything like that. But still, he looks pretty decent. And then there's Fernando Morientes. Again, I will do a full build and a full look at these players on Monday when their levels are confirmed. But uh, yeah, I mean, it looks like a pretty... It depends on Korkic, lads. Honestly, I loved him back in the older Pez games. Him and Pato were always kind of the young guns. They were really, really good uh, back, I don't know what would have been, Pez 10 maybe, I would say. I, I would have to go back and think, maybe a bit later than that. But I remember when they were just bursting out. Morientes is going to be pretty much the same as every other big man, uh, target man that's masquerading as a fox in the box. But yeah, that is, that's the pack, right? Now, also, I want to talk about this as well. I have covered a full video of this. You will notice that the DBs have been updated with a lot of placeholder cards, right? You can see Messi there for Inter Miami. That's definitely a Messi card. And I do feel like that... I have to, I have brought out a brand new video. Again, the image is going to be up on the screen there. And make sure you subscribe if you like these videos as well, lads. Um, but you can see here that there's one remaining old school epic left. But then every other epic that has been in the database since we've, you know, transitioned over to eFootball 2025 has now got ratings, except these players, right? Now, I'm going to talk a little bit about this, but I have all the information covered. And this full list with mockups. Here's a little sample. I have the full video up on the channel as well, and it will be linked at this video as well and in the description. But also, we have the old school boys as well, such as the Dutch trio, which are going to be still there that have been kind of like rearranged or are going to be re-released into new double boosters, in my opinion. They had old cards, and now they're probably going to come out as double boosters. You have Rummy as well that is going to be there. So, yeah, and you've got, I think, Lizarazu was another one as well. So let me know what you guys think of this kind of method of doing the double boosters. Is it a thumbs up? Is it a thumbs down? Are you just sick of the game? Are you enjoying the game? Let me know. Just let me know what the crack is with you guys, and we'll see you in the next one.